Okay, with uh, this one, we're going to use the 4-inch flask. And if you can see the patterns down here, I'm going to try and do three of them. We'll see how it goes. So what we're going to do is I have the positive side of the flask. And the edge here ends up going down. And when I put it down, the, the half of the pour hole here, I always have it set to the right. Uh, it's just the way I do it, and I also like to have something hard on the on the bottom So we're gonna put that down like that We're just gonna fill just about halfway up, and we're gonna take a dowel And just pack this in just like this I like to pack it all the way out to the edge So that when I turn it over, I can see it's mostly filled all the way around. Okay, hopefully I got enough clay here. I think so. Okay, at this point I can take the back side of a mandrel. Uh, you could also use a hammer if you wanted. Chasing hammer works good. We want to get this so it's above this outside rim. Then you want to have a piece of plate like this. And we're going to scrape this off. Just like that. Turn it over. It's really nice here. I should have cleaned this out a little bit. It's a little bit dirty. I've been doing a lot of casting. Okay, so now I've got this pour hole about right here. So now I'm going to take uh, the telk and I'm going to telk this really well. You don't want to breathe that in. Uh, very bad to breathe. So now I have my patterns, and with Valentine's Day coming up, I figured hearts would be the thing to do. So we're going to take the big one here, and we're going to put it in the middle. Uh, the big one is going to be the one that that's, needs to, uh, should be in the middle because you want that straight down pour going directly to it. Now I've found if you take like a tart tamper, which you can buy at the hardware store, you can really push these down. And I like to get this side deeper than the other side because it has the vents. So now the other one will be this one. I think these are going to fit. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it'll. this thing will go right into there. So we'll put it right there. Just like that. And then we have this other one here. It's kind of the smaller one, I guess. Looks like it'll fit really well right there. Now we want to make sure there's no clay on the edge here, so you want to clean this off. Make sure there's none around the outside. Now we take the next half, make sure this is clean. Fit that on. Okay, so now I'm going to take, looks like there's a little piece of clay right there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add powder just like that. And now we're going to take 
and add just a little bit in here, just enough to maybe fill it halfway, maybe a third of the way. We're going to take our little dowel, push this down, want to get it nice and tight around those patterns. Now we'll fill up the rest. Takes a lot of clay to fill a four inch flask. Okay, at this point, I want to take, scrape it off. We're going to pick it up. Get all that out of the way. Now I like to set this down and pull it straight apart. So I'd say that's a pretty darn good impressions there. So we're gonna start with this side. Make sure there's no clay inside that channel. Take your thumb this, you can start creating your funnel here. The thumb works great. And we have this tool here, and we're gonna use this to create the rest of the sprues. I'm just pushing it down. Now, if it's really sharp, like right here, it's best to kind of round that so that when the metal hits it, it doesn't break off and go down into your mold. If it does break off, It'll look like porosity. It'll make a big, a big hole in your casting. So it's good to round everything. Just imagine how good you could make a mold like this if you're not doing a video. So that is pretty darn good for that side. So we're gonna set this one aside. Now the more difficult side, with this I'll take the knife here, get underneath these. I'm hoping these will just drop out. Two. It's 
pretty darn good, I'd say. Get those out of the way. Okay, so. Use the thumb. And create the funnel. And now use this tool again. So again, we're going to take these and we're going to round them. Okay, make sure there's no clay here around the edge. Now we gotta start the vents. So I got this little piece of steel here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in almost to the piece, pull it down, pull it back, if you drag it through there, it's just going to be like a boat wake. And it's going to rise up. Uh, and it's going to create a mess. I've learned that over time. And I'm not going all the way to the piece. Because I want to make a thinner uh, vent at that point. Now I'm going to take the back side of a scalpel I'm going through into the mold, and this is where the air and the gases will release when the metal is poured. Now, if, if it kind of pops out anywhere on here, you want to go in and clean that up so it's nice and smooth. And you want to make sure that there's no obstruction in these vents. Uh, obstructions will cause problems, so you want to make sure they're nice and clean. But at this point, this is ready to go. Uh, and we're not going to do the pouring of the metal in this video. I'll do it in a second video. But this gives you an idea of how I set this up so that we can do three pieces. Uh, all right, I think we'll end it right now. Thank you.